We have just clinically proven which gender is more delusional using one simple test. The test asks a series of questions to see how many people in the population fit your ideal dating criteria. What's the minimum height? Five, nine. All right, I'm out. Five, ten. Five, nine. Okay, I'm taking L's today, damn. <laughs> minimum height. Six feet. Yeah, that's where they get you. Five, eight. Five, eight? That's reasonable. Five, ten. Six foot. Five, six. Like, at least six. What is the ideal height that you're looking for? Over six feet, right? <laughs> no preference. I don't care. Five, three to five. Okay. Shorter than me. What's your height? Six, one. I guess taller than five feet. I'm not concerned about height. I'm under five, ten. Five, we'll get ten. real picky here. Yeah, so you go to four feet? Yeah, yeah, it's great, man. Can we go lower in four feet? <laughs> no, we go, we go <laughs> if I meet a funny, beautiful woman who's, you know, four feet tall, go for it. Or just like a very funny, beautiful woman that's like 7'7". Seven, seven. Would you exclude obesity? Absolutely. Yeah. No. No. Nah. No, I'm inclusive. Except if you're below six feet. Correct. Exclude obese? Would you be willing to admit it on camera? I would exclude. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. What about if they're fat? Do you care if they're fat or not? No. You don't care? Or you I don't care. Like, I enjoy a little dad bod. Would you exclude overweight and obese? No. Yes. Would you exclude obese and overweight? I'm going on record, but yes, I would. Nah. No. What about overweight or obese? Do you care? Yeah, no, I definitely give a fuck about being no, overweight. Okay. I want like $100 or cheaper on the dinner bill, so yeah. <laughs> Minimum income. Like, let's 60? 60,000. 70K, $30,000. I don't think that matters to me. I really don't care about income as a student myself. Like, I don't have that much money right now. I'm a broke college student, so I guess they can be broke as well. I'm in college, I don't expect you to make a lot. All right, he's on food stamps, so. I'm gonna say at least 200. 200 grand? Like 200. Minimum, like 30. Maximum, as much money as possible. That really doesn't Sick. matter. No preference. No minimum income. What about minimum income? Do you care how much they make? No, right now. Not particularly concerned with income. All right, what do you think you scored? I don't know. This is a percentage of how many people per are... Percentage of the population in that age range fits this. It's got to be like 60. You think it's 60? I, there have to be a lot of people in that, right? I don't know. What if I told you it's actually 16%? 16? 16. 16. That's, yeah, that's very small. Whoa, 6.4%. Okay. 4.1! So it says you're an aspiring cat lady. Oh no. <laughs> I barely did any any filters though. Oh. So it says you're an aspiring cat lady. What do you think it is? Take a guess. Like 2%. Yeah, 2.1%. Wow. So knowing that, would you be willing to like lower your standards or what? No. I'm not lowering my standards for anybody. Point blank period. Would you say that you would lower your standards now that you know it's only 60% of the population? No, no, I don't think I would. Oh. Guess what it is? Like 2%? Much lower. Uh, 0.5. It's 0.28%. Oh my gosh. 12% of people in your age group have all those qualities. That's, That's not good odds. <laughs> 32%, oh my gosh. 23%, it means you're down to earth. So you are down to earth according to, you can see it says down to earth. So, awesome. Yeah. You can be 30 years oh old and make Oh my goodness. Years. Take a guess at how many, what percentage of men fit these, this criteria. 2%, much lower. It's 0.049%. Cool. Alright, is this going on the TV? Maybe like almost half, like 50-ish. It's actually 14%. Oh, I'm so happy for myself. Do you think you need to <laughs> raise your standards or lower them even further? You know? I probably need to lower my standards, but I don't think I will. What percentage of the population do you think would fit your standards? About 20. You got 39.2%. So what do you think about that? Those are some pretty basic questions. What's missing from the test? Like what else would you uh, add on to there? Personality. What kind of personality? Not a shitty person. <laughs> okay. And what's the number one for their guy? 38% of the population. 38? Okay, that's insane. 13%. 13%. Yeah, okay, that's not bad. It's lower than what I expected. 21%. 21%? Nice. Yeah. Okay. You think you scored higher or lower than you expected? That seems about right. Would you be willing to change your criteria that now that you found out it's a little bit lower? Well, I guess I would. 73% of people, dude. 95%, brother. <laughs> oh, only 30%, dude. Really? I'm, I'm wondering if that's probably about the overweight, obese thing. Probably, yeah. actually, yeah, yeah. Like, just being a decent human being, I think, is really what everyone's looking for. And, like, if you're overweight, that might imply that you're not, and that sounds fucking horrible, but it just would imply, like, maybe you can't take care of yourself. What do you think the guys have scored that we've, we've asked around here? Higher than, I guess, my initial assumption would be, I would say maybe around, like, 10%. <laughs> or am I very wrong? Is it, like, 50? 
46% is what the guys scored. You know, I was trying to give the guys the benefit of the doubt, but I guess my assumptions are correct. Well, man, we live in a patriarchy, and women get to get to choose, and that's that's kind of how it works in the dating society. And women We live are, in a patriarchy, and the women get to choose? They do. Interesting. That's well, a, you know, they're vulnerable members of society, yeah. and so they do get to be picky because, you know, you don't want to pick, like, the next Ted Bundy. Like, it does make sense. Yeah. So who has more, basically, delusional dating standards, men or women? I think women, okay. because they want, like... 100% perfect guy. Like you want a guy who's a feminist but also pays for all the food and stuff, so. My experience with women, they just want to like know that like you treat your sisters and your mother okay and that like you're not gonna be a douchebag and you're not gonna f them and never call them again.